Hello everyone, I'm Miguel Ramos. And I'm Nathan Yim. We are Product Manager for Firebase, and today we are excited to share with you about the latest and the greatest updates to the Flutter SDK for Firebase. The Flutter SDK is a set of plugins that let you, developer, quickly and easily integrate Firebase into your application or games. New to Firebase? Not to worry, I will pass it over to Nathan to share how Firebase helps developer build, launch, and operate successful apps. Thanks, Miguel. Imagine you're planning to build your next multi-platform mobile app with Flutter. As you start thinking about your app's requirements, you soon realize that there are a lot of challenges to consider for each phase of the development cycle. What will your backend look like? How will you store information about your users? How will your users authenticate? How will you monitor crashes in your app? The list goes on. It can be overwhelming to wade through all the different solutions and implementations at your disposal. This is where Firebase comes in. From building your app, to releasing it, to operating it, Firebase offers a variety of products, from fully managed infrastructure, so you can get your app to market faster, to crash reporting, so you can ensure your app is bug-free, to machine learning-powered personalization capabilities, so you can deliver the best optimized experience for your users, just to name a few. Millions of app developers trust Firebase today to help them reach and engage billions of people across the globe, and we're excited to talk about all the possibilities that Firebase offers to Flutter developers. Before we get into what's coming up for the Flutter SDK for Firebase, let's take a look back to see how the SDK has improved since last year's Google I.O. What a year it's been for the Flutter SDK. After announcing official support for Flutter and Firebase last year, our team's been busy, focused on making the Flutter SDK as helpful and easy to use as possible. Let's take a look at some of the highlights. We added official documentation to firebase.google.com with hundreds of code samples for how to use Firebase and Flutter, and a new onboarding flow in the Firebase console that makes it easier than ever to add Firebase to your Flutter apps. We also made big improvements to Crashlytics for Flutter apps so you can track, monitor, and fix stability issues faster. We reduced the number of steps it takes to get started. All you need to do is add the Crashlytics plugin and initialize it in your Dart code. The Crash Analyzer now groups Flutter crashes more intuitively by common underlying characteristics. This will help your team better understand what types of crashes are affecting your app. And it's now possible to log on-demand fatal errors in a Flutter app and receive alerts from Crashlytics when critical issues arise, so you can resolve them before they have an impact on a large number of users. We also released a recommended build option that can drastically reduce the overall size of your app, giving your end users a better experience. In addition, developers will be able to pinpoint exactly where problems occur, thanks to fully symbolized stack traces in Crashlytics. We know that app security is important to you and your users, which is why we added support for multi-factor authentication. We also added support for index queries on locally cached data with Firestore, which speeds up your queries when your users are offline, just as server-side indexes do for online queries. To try it out, simply export your index definitions from the Firebase CLI and then import those into the Flutter SDK when the app starts so that it has the same index on the local cache. Lastly, we added the ability to update all your Firebase dependencies to the latest version with a single Flutterfire CLI command. Simply run Flutterfire update to ensure you're up to date. So that's everything from the past year. Let's go back to Miguel to see a sneak peek of what's to come in the next year. It's been a spectacular year. Now let's talk about the exciting things we're working on. Firebase has several hundred APIs in several SDKs, basically one SDK per product plus some from infrastructure. And Flutter developer can use 96% of all of them. More importantly, this includes 100% of the most used APIs in Firebase. In other words, we are happy to share that the Firebase Flutter SDK have now achieved future parity with the native Android, iOS, and web SDKs. You will be able to use the same Firebase feature as you can use in these native SDKs, just writing code in your lovely Dart language. We know how important it is to have an efficient developer loop. The faster you can iterate your code, writing, compiling, building, testing, deployment, the faster you get into production. And nobody knows this better than the Flutter developers. I mean, who doesn't love how the stateful hot reload and hot restart shortens the cycle? When you can quickly test and deploy code, 
you can spend more time on production tasks like writing new features and fixing bugs. And that developer in a loop of writing, building, and debugging code is faster on desktop because it doesn't require any emulators or web browsers. Until now, Flutter developer using Firebase on Windows has not been able to take advantage of this workflow. I'm happy to announce that, coming soon, Flutter apps using Firebase will be able to use Windows during development, so Flutter developer can enjoy that nimble developer experience. The Firebase on Windows support is not ready for production apps, so we only recommend using this for development, but we think you're really going to love it. It saves you precious time so you can experiment with new ideas quickly. You can innovate faster. Yes, you heard right. Firebase will support Windows for the development for Flutter apps. Let's look at how we'll get there. Firebase has SDK for developers using C++ and Unity. And those SDK already have limited support for developing on desktop machines. We are going to extend the Firebase C++ SDK to support the development workflow in desktop. And we will wrap this C++ SDK into Flutter plugin just like we already do for Android, iOS, and web platforms. This is the fastest and more reliable way to give you that much desired desktop support. Once that is done, we continue evolving the existing wrapper to support more desktop scenarios. But we know how passionate Flutter developers are about that language. We get it. It's a powerful language that allows you to target a wide variety of platforms. Thanks to the fantastic Flutter community, there is an early stage experimental, pure data implementation of the Firebase SDKs in the Firebase extended repos. We'll continue working with the community on these packages and evolving them over the time to have more complete support. Remember, everybody's welcome to contribute. While this experimental Dart SDK is getting at the ground, and until it's consolidated, we will continue using the federated plugins to encapsulate the native Firebase platform. Let's go back to Nathan. It's exciting to think how Firebase will empower Flutter developers to create great full-stack apps. The improvements of the past year allow you to respond faster to crashes and issues thanks to the improved Crashlytics and Flutter integration, secure your users with multi-factor authentication, and more. And this year, we recently achieved functional parity, and we're working on a lot of new things, like creating more samples and docs, and new Windows desktop support for development. Thank you for joining us, and be sure to check out the other Firebase and Flutter technical sessions across Google I.O. See you next time. Adios.